Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. That's how we ball out. Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. That's how we ball out. Ball out, ball out. That's how we ball out. Ball out, ball out. That's how we. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I filmed today a makeup tutorial, of course, on this look because St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner and I've actually done this look a couple of times, like not even on St. Patrick's Day, just because I really, really like the color green on brown eyes. Now I can't speak for every color eye because I don't have every color eye, I just have brown eyes. And the first time I did this look was probably like back in 2012 in California. And people were like going crazy. Like I just wore it one time. I'm like, whoa, like this look is beautiful. So um, I really like the color green and I'm not afraid to use bold colors. So I just want to show you guys today that just because green is like a very bold statement color, you could still wear it. I'm going to call it a, a green goddessin look. That's what this is. And also too, before I start rambling, I need to let you guys know, um, when I do my next video, do not be terrified because um, as of next Thursday, I am going to have braces again. <laughs> yes, braces. Um, this is my second time around getting braces. I actually had my braces taken off in 2010. And I ended up seeing a video of me going to California and I am just smiling because I just got my braces off and I went to go see my dad and I'm like, oh my goodness, my teeth are so straight. Like what happened? Well, what happened was I lost my retainer. That was the problem. And I didn't feel like replacing it. So I didn't feel like it was necessary. And I've seen a lot of people go without replacing retainers and not have any problems with their teeth but of course it's me so um yeah my teeth shifted and i want to fix it <laughs> this has nothing to do with the video so if you want to see how i achieve this green goddess and look just keep watching with this elf pencil we are going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone um this elf pencil i got it from target and i think it's more for the lips but i still use it as a highlight because i think it's really pretty and i'm just taking a morphe brush to blend out my highlight and next i'm going in with nyx jumbo pencil in the color milk and do not ask what type of brush i am using stick whatever it is don't ask because i'm not going to tell you because i don't even know what it is and i'm going to <laughs> blend out that color milk because i need these green shadows to really pop and now i'm going in with my lorac pro palette i am taking a fluffy brush from urban decay and i'm going to blend that into my crease now this is my transition color that i'm using for this green look it's a very nice um matte brown it's like a very very light matte brown that i'm using and with the same brush i just flipped it over and do not ask about this palette either i got it offline <laughs> off ebay and it broke in half don't even ask so half the palette i'm taking that very light green color and i am just applying this to my lid and my lid only and i did spray the brush with fix plus so it can pick up a lot of that color to sit on top of milk now I am taking a blending brush. I'm going in with the darkest green and I am just putting that into my crease. Of course, with windshield wiper motions, I want this look to be very bold, especially if you are going out for St. Patrick's Day, the nighttime, you really want your makeup to really stand out. So yeah, I'm just using that green color again, the darkest green at the bottom of the palette. Um, and I'll put a link down below where you can get this palette from on eBay. I broke this palette on its own, so it wasn't the person's fault. Next, I went into the Lorac palette again and I picked up the color Espresso. And I am just blending that into my crease as well because um, I'm still trying to darken up this look. And with the green that's in the middle, this is kind of like the dupe BH palette. So I'm pretty sure you guys have these shadows. Um, I'm just taking a blending brush and going back and forth. Um, as you can see, I have that same, I don't even know, it was stick again, it's a stick. Um, and I did use milk to line my bottom lash line with that jumbo pencil. And I'm taking that Urban Decay brush again and um, the light, no, the darkest green. And I'm just going into my waterline and just lining everything. Now I use the white because it's going to help the color pop once again. 
back into my Lorac palette. I did take the color Espresso once again to drag that down into my waterline. And this palette as well, I think I got this from Ross and it, it had a lot of shimmers. It's like a shimmer palette. And I love gold, so um, I did pop gold into my crease. Um, next, with a angled brush, I did take L'Oreal's um, gel liner. And I am just doing my waterline, and then I'm going to go ahead and put eyeliner at the top. Now, of course, you already know I am doing a cat eye, but I did start in, I didn't start in the center of my eye. I actually started at the beginning, like my tear duct. And I'm just bringing this cat eye all the way out. Um, like I said, I don't extend my cat eye past my eyebrow, at the tip of my brow. I never extend it any further. With the Lorac palette, now I am taking espresso as well as um, the black in this palette. And just darkening up this look once again. With a angled brush from Morphe Brushes, I am taking Espresso in black and I am just lining my waterline and just kind of smudging out this look. With Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal, I do start with my lower lash line and I just apply the mascara like that and then I will go ahead and bring it up to my top lashes. And I do like a weird technique when I apply mascara, but this is just like what I do. I bring it down and then I bring it up. I know it may sound weird, but just watch like how I apply my mascara. With Ardell Natural Wispy Lashes, I am going to go ahead and take them off with tweezers. I do kind of fold them so they kind of um, match your eye. It kind of just helps them to prep with applying them to your eye. Um, with the tweezers though, that's how I apply my lashes because I find it very easy and simple to apply with. And since I do not have a lash curler, um, I do take my tweezers and kind of curl my lashes, trying to blend out, blend my real lashes to the false lashes. And it's not hard to blend. And of course, you just add mascara as well. Um, with Black Radiance Blush, I am going to put this on the apples of my cheeks and um, I don't really contour, like I can show you how to contour, I do know how, but I don't really contour my face on an everyday basis. I probably just contour my cheeks and my nose. Um, with my enormous fan brush that I am so happy about, I am taking Max Gold Deposit Highlight and I am, apply I am applying that to the um, highest points of my cheeks. So not the apples of my cheeks, but just right above it. Well, I just want to show you guys a, a picture or a video of my hair because I do add extensions, but when they're not in, this is what my hair looks like. I do take Hairfinity pills. Okay, so now off to my lips. I am taking um, Revlon's powder and I'm just putting that all over my face as well as I also add that to my lips just to kind of prep my lips before I add lip liner. The um, Milani lip, it's actually a lip primer that I'm putting on my lips, but it was cutting up my lips, so I kind of had to like stop. But I did prime my lips first, and next I'm going in with a lip liner called, I think it's NK, I'm not exactly sure, and it's in the color Pink Flamingo. And I'm just lining my lips before I add my lipstick and my lip gloss. And this lip liner, it's really, really nice, but like I said, I just got it from a beauty store, so I'll link everything down below. Next, I am taking um, the color Pink Pot, and it is a matte lipstick from Revlon. And I went through this lipstick so quick because it's matte, and you know how I feel about matte lipsticks. And it, it just looks beautiful, so I really, really like it. And the last product I am using is NYX Lip Gloss. Now, I will have the name down below, but I just wanted to, since my eyes were so matte, I did want to add a lip gloss to this look. And the completed look is here. Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. That's how we ball out. Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. That's how we ball out. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you got a better appreciation for the color green. You could wear it any time of the year besides St. Patrick's Day. It is okay to do a green smoky eye. It is gorgeous, girl. So, oh, and guys, <laughs> so yes, if you are going to try out this look, definitely leave a comment down below, or you can always do a video response to this video. I would love to see those, and um, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, and until my next video, I will see you guys later. Oh, hold on. 
Um, I did show you guys portions of my hair today because I've been growing my hair for about six months. I've been having a really good regimen. And um, if you guys want to know more about what I do to my hair, how I use Hairfinity, and how it works out for me, definitely leave a comment down below and I will take a look and maybe do like a whole like hair regimen and everything that I do for my hair to keep it growing, healthy, and strong. So until my next video with braces, I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh, have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't drink and drive. Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. That's how we ball out. Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out.